Hello, I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I'm super excited about starting a series on how to develop super strong faith, how to receive from God, how to take the promise of God off the page of promise in the Bible and get it real in our experience. I've created some, sh some short, easy to listen to videos, lessons that will explain how faith comes to us, how faith works, how faith operates, what we can do to increase our faith. And also, uh, the book of Romans, chapter 4, verse 12 says that we are to walk in the steps of faith of our father Abraham. So that tells me that there are steps that we can take that will get results. I didn't know there were steps required uh, of faith to, to materialize what God said. I thought we just prayed and Sometimes God did and sometimes God didn't. But then I found out that the Bible says that all the promises of God in Jesus Christ are yes and amen. Not maybe, not wait, certainly not no. They're yes and amen. And so there's got to be a way to, for us to hook up with God the right way with our faith and materialize his promises. Praise God. Hebrews 11.6 says, that, that without faith, it's impossible to please God. For they that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. I want the rewards of seeking God. I want to see what he's going to bless us with, praise God. But the, par the part that inter interests me is without faith, it's impossible to please God. So every Christian wants to please God. So let's learn how to develop our faith to please God. God likes it when we take the promise off the page of promise and get it real in our experience. Faith is like a muscle. It's got to be exercised. And if you'll begin to exercise your faith in little things, the day is going to come when you're going to be able to materialize big things, heart's desire, uh, rescue people that are in a real jam with your faith. It's going to be wonderful. So understand the that if you feel like you don't have much faith today, the super great news is I'm going to show you how to develop faith, how to grow your faith, how to mature your faith to materialize God's promises regarding your situation. God's a very present help in time of trouble. Uh, whatever your need is, whatever your desire is, God's got a promise to meet that need, and we're going to find out how to materialize that need in Jesus' name. Praise God. You know, people see Mr. America. They say, wow, that dude has a lot of muscles. Look how many muscles that guy has. Well, the truth is, Mr. America doesn't have any more muscles than a baby. Mr. America just has more well-developed muscles. That's all. And so in like manner, it's not accurate to say, hey, look at that guy, man. He sure has a lot of faith. Uh, I sure wish I did. Well, the truth is, you can. The Bible has dealt to, says that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith, Romans 12, 3. Some people's faith may be more developed than yours, at this point at least in your life, but really it's a level playing field. You can have as much faith or as much physical muscles as you want, and we're going to learn how to grow our faith let our, and starve our doubts. Amen? And so faith has been the missing ingredient. And I, you know, you see the promise, no evil will befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, or uh, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Those great, great verses, and sometimes we don't see it manifest in our life. Now, suppose you went to the grocery store, and you bought a Betty Crocker instant chocolate cake mix. Then you went home, and you put the powder in a, a, a pan, and put it in the oven at 300 degrees, I don't know anything about baking, and left it in there for 30 minutes. Now, at the end of 30 minutes, would you have a nice cake? No. Why not? Because although the box says instant cake mix, there was a missing ingredient. You were supposed to either add like water or uh, milk or an egg, stir it up, 
and then bake the darn thing, you know? And so God's word is complete in every way. However, in order to materialize it on this earth we live in, you have to add the missing ingredient. And I've discovered, and I'm sure you have too, that the missing ingredient for God's manifestation is faith. Betty Crocker won't add the water or the egg for you. And God won't do the believing for you. But he'll show you how to build your faith so that you can do the believing. In both, in both cases, there's a missing ingredient. Betty Crocker promises this on her box. She says this, If you use my ingredients and you follow my directions, I promise you a perfect cake every time. So, God gives you directions and instructions for faith that receives every time. Basically, you know, if we can copy uh, Betty Crocker, God basically said, if you use my ingredients, the Word of God, and follow my directions, the steps of faith that we're going to be learning about, I guarantee you a perfect manifestation every time. And so we're going to be learning about God's recipes and God's recipe of growing our faith. I want to just give you in closing an encouraging verse. Proverbs 4, 20 through 23, gives us a good start for our faith foundation. It says this, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen to my words. Never let them get away from you. Remember them and keep them in your heart. They will give life and health to anyone who understands them. Wow, better days are ahead for us. Be careful how you think, uh, for your life is shaped by your thoughts. So, number one, pay attention to what God says. Maybe you're doing that already. I hope you are. Uh, number two, I guess, listen to my words. Number three, uh, never let them get away from you. Number four, remember them. Yeah, keep them in your heart. Be careful how you think. I like that. So, God, right there, that's a recipe of faith. That's one of the recipes. It's not the one I'm going to be sharing with you, uh, but... Uh, very shortly, I'm going to be putting up some videos on how to receive from God and how to develop your faith. Abraham and Sarah did those things. They believed God. And when you make the principles that we're going to learn your way of life, I promise you that you're going to have strong, vibrant faith, faith that, that receives what it asks for. I'm Pastor Glenn, and I invite you to join me very shortly as we discover together the steps of faith that bring God's results. Praise God. Have a great, great day.